A community has come together to help a canine police officer who was critically injured while responding to an incident in Hurricane. Fox 13 News reporter Mythili Gooby spoke with a mother and daughter who helped raise money for canine officer Rico. We love dogs. Yeah. <laughs> Alisa and Haven Brewer live a few blocks away from where officers responded to a stranger walking into a home on Monday. Shots were fired after a pursuit that led to traffic incidents as well. It was scary. We could see all the lights from the window. We didn't know what was going on. A canine officer was stabbed. When we heard that he stabbed a cop dog, we were pretty upset and pretty worried. After days of recovery in the hospital, canine Rico made it back Thursday night to Hurricane. And everybody in this whole community has been pulling for Rico, and he's doing great. According to an update from Rico's partner, Officer DeMille at the Hurricane City Police Department, he says the support is unreal. Rico is home and doing great. Because of Rico's crazy determination and strength, the doctors are hopeful for a full recovery. So Elisa and Haven wanted to do something special for him. We thought we would reach out to the community and maybe see if we could get enough money together to get like um, a gift basket or something for him. But then it kind of blew up. And how much did we collect? $500. $500 collected in 24 hours to help canines Rico and Enzo. Enzo is the canine from St. George who gave blood to help Rico recover. So there were two treat baskets. One was for Rico, one was for Enzo. And then we gave the rest of the money specifically to the canine units. Elisa and Haven met Enzo and his partner at Bon Appetit to order the dog treats and give the checks to the police department. They say their work and passion for giving back will continue. And we will always have our eyes out for a good cause. And we will always try to, to bring people together to help because a little bit from everybody can do a whole lot for somebody. I'm Maithili Gobi reporting, Fox 13 News, Utah.